A lot to cover, a very interesting spring we've had, the wettest spring in 139 years. We're at the Ohio Department of Agriculture. Director Jim Zeringer joins us, and we had a meeting today to talk about uh, a variety of issues, including crop insurance, crop progress, weather. Let's cover them one at a time. Uh, crop progress as of Sunday, 11% of the corn in the ground. We have a long way to go and a short time to get there. That's right, Ty, and it, it looks like uh, there, uh, one thing that came out of the meeting today that was pretty positive was the forecast. And so we're looking at possibly uh, beginning this weekend, uh, maybe having a week of good weather. And the farmers have shown that they can uh, get the crop in in a hurry. So uh, that was a positive thing that came out of here today. I Several know. positive well, things. Well, Jim Ramey mentioned that uh, the best week we've had here in the Buckeye State as far as crop progress is 47% in one week. We yeah. average uh, in a good week 24 to 26%. So we could get it done. And, and it, right. we're encouraging farmers to keep that corn in mind and don't think about switching varieties or plant quite yet. Yeah, it's what we're hearing today is uh, for, even from a couple of the seed corn companies that uh, the, these genetics are pretty good. Uh, the uh, the growing season could be, uh, you know, the yields could get hit, hurt a little bit. Uh, uh, we have uh, until mid-June to seriously plant, plant a lot of corn yet. A lot of the questions coming about crop insurance. There are a lot of questions that haven't had to be asked in a long time and some still don't know the answers. What are the main concerns out there for the producers as far as crop insurance well, is concerned? Uh, one of the, there's a couple main concerns. One, uh, that uh, they will not plan anything and take the crop insurance, and we would like to encourage as much corn as we can. Uh, but we heard today that uh, from the risk management management agency that uh, they're going to do some uh, looking at some of the policies they have and maybe extend some dates and and uh, and look at the base price. And, and so there, there's a lot of things the farmers are going to have to look into at crop insurance. And, and hopefully today we've answered some of those questions. But you're right, there still is a little confusion out there. So I recommend everybody to talk to their agent. As I mentioned, we covered a lot of topics today and we're putting that video from ODA on your website. How can people find that? Uh, they can uh, hit, uh, come to the ODA website, just uh, uh, go on the internet and, and just search Ohio Department of Agriculture. All right, and of course we'll keep you updated with answers here too at Ohio AgNet and OhioAgNet.com. From the Ohio Department of Agriculture, I'm Ty Higgins reporting.